It is that time once again, the annual Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration with Dokkan Battle. And a unit that's about to have an EZA is Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Now I'm on the Dokkan Entropy private server, I'm trying to see what they already have and see what Dokkan might bring to the official EZA. Not too much has changed in this version of their EZA. You've got his leader skill which is 180% boost to crossover category. You know, they might make it 200% in the official EZA or they might add another category, it depends. Got his super attack here, Extreme Galactic Spirit Sword. One of my favorite super attacks in the whole game, I should say. Now his passive skill, we've got a boost to crossover category and giant power allies. Uh, big chance of countering the enemy super attack, which is pretty cool. Guards all attacks, which is a main change and very needed. Although I do think they should add some more defense in the official EZA. And just launches an additional super attack with five or more key spheres, which is... Yeah, overall, pretty, pretty standard, pretty normal EZA. I think that the official one can go really above and beyond. They have an opportunity to. But given how they've handled EZAs this past year, I don't know, but we'll have to see. We're going to go into the Cell Max event because that's pretty much the standard of what I'm doing here. Uh, we've got a team for him here, so let's just get straight into it. And uh, why do I have 125,000 health? That's not right. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on? What? <laughs> Did I just break the game immediately? <laughs> hang on. Let me let me double check this. Or, surely all of them are on crossover category, right? Yeah, they're all... Yeah, crossover category. So what's the issue? Maybe just reselect him. Alright, let's see. What? What? Why is this happening? <laughs> Come on, I'm trying. Hang on. Hang on. Let's test it in. Nope, there's no key. There is no key. Okay, I think the unit's like leader skill is bugged or something. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know what I just thought of? This is just a better team. I've completely forgot about the limit breakers. They have a 200% uh, category lead. I can just put Goku onto the leader skill. So that's what we'll do. And here we have it. Okay, we've got a team now. <laughs> Let's hope this works. There we go, 580k. Not too bad. I speak for a lot of people when I say that I think a lot of the heroes units need a massive boost. A big buff, I think. Which isn't unreasonable, you know, in this current meta. But anyway, we've got Vegeta to start off turn one. Let's just put him smack in slot one. Yes. Yeah, why not? Um, we'll see how he performs. Already looking good with the almost 900k initial stat there. Good guards, obviously. I know this is turn like strength uh, cell max, but even so. 6.7 million to start off. Now up to 7.2. It'd be really beneficial for him if he stacked either attack or defense or both in the official EZA. They've got to make the hero's unit somewhat viable. That's a triple super attack, by the way. And fight quadruple super attack. 8 million. And I think we're getting the criticals here. There we go. That's what you love to see. Moving on to turn two here. This is an interesting one. This Super Saiyan 3 Goku had a... Fairly decent EZA, if I must say, defensive-wise. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, he tanks the super attack pretty well. Not too bad of an attack stat. Obviously, of course, they're all going to be outclassed eventually, but... Considering that this event and collaboration is annual, you know, they've got to add something, unless they do the event more often, you know? Which I would not be opposed to, because I love Dragon Ball Heroes. Yeah, it's a fairly solid turn here, no major complaints. Units are all doing fine. Bunch of super attacks from Vegeta here. Which I really love about his passive, and we move straight to... Tech Cell Max, turn 3, we'll put, once again, Vegito slot 1. Uh, 
So unfortunately he's taking a lot on the normal attacks. He really does need some sort of damage reduction or higher defense in the official EZA. Do have a bunch of super attacks here from him though, so this should help. Very nice. We've got the super attack counter. And it is a critical. I love that uh, Kamehameha animation. I mean, yeah, just from that alone, even this EZA, which isn't too over the top, I think is not bad at all, but obviously this meta is ever-changing. And Cell Max isn't really like the top-tier boss battle anymore. It's more like red zones. But I digress. Okay, we survived turn three. Uh, he's locked Gohan in, but realistically that should be fine. I'll move Goku to the middle there, so Super Saiyan 3 Goku can tank those attacks. There is a good chance we don't survive this turn, but honestly we're just here for Vegito's performance. And from what I've seen so far, I think that I have a pretty good idea of what I want to see in the official EZA. But this one's not bad. Alright, Gohan with a double super attack. Considerable damage there. And we've got Limit Breaker Goku straight from the arcade this super attack. Love that. And we do have Cell Max's super attack here. I don't know how much this is going to do. Ooh, that's... We're still alive. I forgot if he can double super attack. So if he... Just not regular attacks, we'll be fine. I think we're good. Just barely. 76k health. Okay. Cool. Now there's a good chance we can end it off turn 5. If I play this right. Yeah, this should be fine. So we've got the 1 million attack stat from Vegito there. Still taking a lot of damage from the regular attacks. But I reckon his super attacks here will do the job quite nicely. As long as he gets some crits. Perhaps that's something else that the official EZA can have. Maybe some sort of ability to get extra percentage for crits or additional attacks with key orbs maybe. Multiple super attacks and the counter. This counter isn't a critical though, but still, free 2.5 million. Goku might be able to end it here, actually. Ooh. Ooh. 8.8 .8 million? I think that's wraps. I think that's, yep. There you have it. Cell Max done with Dragon Ball Heroes. To be quite honest, I think that this EZA provided by Dokkan Entropy is quite, how do you say, balanced, in my opinion. But the official EZA has the opportunity to go really all out and make him quite viable in the meta. In some stage, in some shape or form, you know what I mean? I don't expect Heroes units to be the absolute best of the best. But for something that's so rarely occurring, you know, something that's annual, I hope that they can do justice to it, but... Given this year's track record, it's it's just a waiting game at this point. Well, what do you guys think about this unit? What do you guys think that you want to see in his EZA? Is there any other Heroes units you want to see in the game? Let me know in the comments below. Have yourselves a fantastic one.